Dr. Second Chance here. I'm a licensed physician, trained recovery coach, and a person with 13 years uh, of long-term recovery from alcohol use disorder and substance use disorder. Today, I want to talk about alcohol use disorder because in the medical community, officially, alcoholism is not a medical term. However, it's still used to communicate as it's in a lot of the recovery literature and um, people uh, do try and uh, communicate in a language uh, that is uh, familiar with people uh, suffering from alcohol or drug use uh, disorders. So it's now called alcohol use disorder and, and the diagnosis is based on 11 criteria and I'm gonna put them below. And so the question is, uh, read through them and think about what I'm saying. Um, do you have alcohol use disorder? And so let's talk about some of these. Um, and what's also interesting, it has nothing to do with the actual amount of alcohol you drink. Now, there is the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, the NIAAA, that defines uh, uh, problematic drinking patterns. For instance, they say heavy drinking means drinking four or more drinks per day for men and three or more drinks per day for women. Or binge drinking, five or more drinks for men, four or more drinks for women within a span of two hours. And uh, in the United States, a standard drink is 12 ounces of a 5% beer, five ounces of a 12% wine, or one and a half ounces of 40% alcohol, also known as an 80 proof distilled spirits. But when you get down to looking at the 11 criteria of alcohol use disorder, none of them include the type of alcohol or the amount you drink. And so I'm gonna uh, list very briefly the 11 criteria. If you have two to three, you, they consider that you have mild abuse. Um, and uh, four to five, uh, moderate abuse, and six or more, severe abuse um, with uh, alcohol use disorder. So here they are. Number one, had times when you ended up drinking more or longer than you intended. This uh, seems to be asking about can you control your drinking or are you out of control more than once wanted to cut down or stop drinking or tried to but couldn't again control do you have control are you out of control spent a lot of time drinking or being sick or getting over the after effects of drinking number four wanted a drink so badly you couldn't think of anything else yeah i've been there that's not a good place to be Found that drinking or being sick from drinking often interfered with taking care of your home or family or caused job troubles or school problems. Continued to drink even though it was causing trouble with your family or friends. Given up or cut back on activities that were important or interesting to you or that gave you pleasure in order to go out and drink instead. More than once gotten into situations where while or after drinking that you increased your chances of getting hurt, such as driving, swimming, operating machinery, walking in a different dangerous part of town or participating in unsafe sex. I would add handling a firearm or something I've seen here in Colorado. Uh, it seems that uh, drunk people seem to try and catch rattlesnakes with their hands and get bitten. Continue to drink even after it was making you feel depressed or anxious or adding to another health problem or having had a memory blackout. Had to drink much more than you once did to get the effect you want. This has to do with tolerance. Your body is able to uh, metabolize it faster so you don't get the uh, euphoria unless you drink a lot more. Found that the effects of alcohol were wearing off. Uh, and when they were wearing off, you had withdrawal symptoms like restlessness, nausea, sweating, racing heart, a seizure, trouble sleeping, even hallucinations. Um... So those are the 11 criteria. And again, if you have six or more, you have severe alcohol use disorder. 
So give it some thought, look at the criteria, and um, if you think this is speaking to you, then, you know, it spoke to me. There was a time in my life when I had these things, and I got help, and I, um, I would encourage you to do the same. I want to hear your stories. Please put them in the comments. Let me know um, what else we can talk about. And um, again, like, subscribe, share, uh, hit the notification bell if you want to know when I've uploaded some videos. Thank you, Dr. Second Chance. I will uh, talk to you the next time. Talk to you later. Bye.